MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Who's going to win this showdown between these two? Find out next. Jay Happ is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, in this day and age where we're all into numbers and statistics, look at this whip, 1.10 or less. He has a sub 1.1. That's not an easy thing to do, especially in today's game where we see teams scoring a lot of runs. He doesn't walk very many guys, and he doesn't give up that many hits either. This is a real good pitcher and should be fun to watch pitch in this one. Here comes the first pitch. And he starts him out with one high and tight, ball one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. Now they've been on a pretty good roll of late, winners of seven of their last eight ball games. What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely hitting, great defense, good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. Well, that's a very comfortable afternoon for baseball. 61 degrees, our game time temperature. Now the 3-0 offering he is looked at for the first strike. Finally got one over. Nothing worse than starting the game with a four-pitch walk. Three and two now. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Now the three and two pitch. Lifted down the line and left. Stanton on the run. He's around first, heading for two. And that'll manage to hop over the wall. He'll be at second to start the game on a ground rule double. Alec. You can see that he was all over that pitch, yanking it down the line. They're lucky that thing bounced over the fence because if it would have gotten lost in the corner out there, there's no telling how far he could have gotten. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Runner in scoring position here already following the ground rule double. One pitch on its way. Swings through it for strike number two. That's a well-placed fastball right there. Just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Here's a high pop-up. The catch is made on the mound, and that's the first out. Batting third. The left fielder, J.D. Martinez. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. From the stretch. In oh, tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Well, d Daryl Parker behind the dish, and you never really know what you're going to get from this guy. Yeah, sometimes, and I'd hate to be mean and say he flips a coin back there because that's not the case. But as an offensive player, you have to find a consistent zone. You just can't. Peraza, the runner at second with one away. Chopper to short. Torres picks it up. Throw gets him. Two down. Batting four. The short guy. Xander Bogart. Here's Xander Bogarts now. First opportunity for him here with the leadoff man still standing at second. Two gone now. Has a look. Now the pitch. And he lays off there. 1-0.
changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Rabol. Now, you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The 2-1 pitch. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Gloved by LeMahieu. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and his side is retired. Red Sox leave one. Red Sox nothing. Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Chris Sale will be the starter for the Bo Sox in this contest. Dan, any thoughts? Thanks, Matt. Chris Sale, you're talking about one of the premier pitchers in the game of baseball. Big fastball, 95 to 98 miles an hour. Wipe out slider. Great comparison. He's the closest thing we've seen to Randy Johnson. A nightmare against lefties. Three-pitch guy, Yankees. fastball, slider, and a changeup hitter. that's getting better Big all the time. He is a definition of a true ace. Too high, 1-0. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. Despite the loss last time out, they enter this one in good shape. Winners in seven of their last ten. Yeah, Matty, they got to find a way to put yesterday behind them. They got pounded without question. But today is a new day, and they regroup and grind and try and do the little things to try and win this ball game. One and one to count. Now here it comes. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Scooped up, throws in time, and that's out number one. Batting second. The right fielder. Aaron. Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Now here it comes. No, in fact. One out, nobody on. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. 3-2 pitch. Line to the right side, but foul. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit.
He just scorched that ball off the wall, and now the question will that be, should he have continued no on or not? He thought about pushing Not it, I'm hard sure, hard. but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Giancarlo Stanton now, and he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Runners on first with one down. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hard hit ball to second. Reined in. A bare hand for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Yankees come up empty. We played an inning in the Bronx. No score here on the show. Here now is Rafael Devers in past meetings with Jay Happ. He's got five base hits in 23 at bats. He's taken him deep once. The pitch. That's popped up. LeMayhew shading to his right. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting pitch. The center fielder, number five, Kevin Pilar. In now, Kevin Pilar comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. First pitch of the at bat. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Oh and he takes this one high, one and one. Two and one, the count of Pilar. Nip the corner, two and two. No score here as we play inning number two. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Payoff pitch home. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Stanton has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Batting seven. The catcher, Christian Vasquez. Striding in for Boston, Christian Vasquez. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First pitch coming, here it is. And that misses for ball one. That's a ball. Perhaps a little low there, it's 2 0. Oh, no. Bases are empty here with two men out. Too high, and it's 3 and 0. Oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3-1. and one. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. Drilled to the left side. And that's through for a hit. 
So the base hit here nets him a base runner with two away as we check out the league leaders in team batting average here in May. And we find that these guys are currently fourth best in that category in the junior circuit. So here's Michael Chavis now as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one and you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. The 1 0 is swung on and missed in that strike one Chavis just 24 years of age he's a second year big leaguer. And it's one and two. One ball. Two, two out with the man at first. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The two two. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. short hit hard Torres brings it in throw on to Bort takes care of him and the inning is over one left for the Red Sox we'll go to the bottom of the second no score next will be the cleanup hitter, go. Gary Four Sanchez days. And he'll step in to start things out Gary. against Chris Sale. Sanchez. First offering on its way. Inside, ball one. The 1-0. -oh. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. The one two. I got to count. Two and two. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and such a dangerous pitch, too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. Standing in, Gio Urshela. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch and a check swing here but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway it's nothing and one a runner at first with no outs here this is popped up Moreland in foul ground but this will land untouched. Now the 0-2 pitch. Popped him up. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. Batting fifth. 
the shortstop, Glaber Torres. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one, no strike. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Runner at first here, one man out. And there's ball two now. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Set. Here's the three and two fouled off. Bottom of the second here with no score. Another one sent foul. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Martinez has a read on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Batting seven. The second baseman. DJ. Love Mayhew. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set. Here it comes. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Sale sets. Coming at him with the 0 and 1. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. This one's down to third. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Hey, that's a heck of an effort by the third baseman right there, Got selling it. out to try and the save extra baseman. bases for the pitcher, Four. but it got through. Four. To the plate now, Luke Voigt, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. The average entering play at 301, seven homers and 14 driven in. Ready with the 0 and 1, and he just misses inside with the fastball there. Pretty good pitch right there, fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Even at one and one, the pitch. Ball, that's inside. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Swung out and missed, and it's even at two and two. Two and two. Here it is. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Yanks strand a pair. Will move to the third with no score.
Welcome back to the Bronx, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their Yankees this season. And looking at the stats, it becomes pretty apparent they possess a lot of swing and miss stuff. Currently, they rank first in the league in strikeouts. And interestingly, they've also allowed the fewest home runs of any team in the league. As some of the pitchers told me, that combination is a reflection of the deception and movement they worked so hard to achieve. They said that talent only gets you so far, and a key to their Leading success the is the time and effort they the put into studying season. film and they perfecting their mechanics and work. pitch releases to get the most out of what they're offering up. Matt, back to you. All right, Heidi, thank you. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch up and away to start the inning. It's 1 0. And he fouls this one off. The 1 1 home. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Judge looks up. Gone to lead off the inning. Mitch Moreland with a solo home run. Seven home runs for him on the year now. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. And here's Jose Peraza. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He doubled to open up the ball game. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Base is empty here with nobody out. Fouled away. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Torres has it. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. The right Not a lot he can do with that pitch. That fastball Alex. just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Ready for another chance? Alex Verdugo. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. On the move is Stanton, and that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Now batting, left fielder, J.D. Martinez. Here's J.D. Martinez, as he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top, but he was able to lay off it. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed, strike one. Martinez is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters and, and truly blessed by the gods. But I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has put into honing his craft to become one of the great hitters in our sport. Look That's out. Cool. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. <laughs> Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. A toss to Hap coming up the line as they get the out at first. The batter, number two, shortstop, Sander Boga. So a man at third here with two gone. And that'll bring up the power hitting shortstop, Xander Bogarts.
from the belt. Kicks and deals. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. After it is Gardner. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. We play two and a half, and it's one nothing Boston. Next for New York, Brett Gardner leading off for the Yankees. The center fielder, Brett. Gardner. First offering on its way. Hey. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. And it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. The next 0 2. And oh dear, that caught him full bore on the mound as it ricochets back toward the plate. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. now uh, and this the has to be a big concern Begin. here. This ball came I'm back and got ball. him right in the pitching arm. And that is something you just never want to see. You can see him trying to work this one off. And from all appearances, I think they're going to let him continue. So that at least is a good sign. Striding forward now is the D.H. Miguel Andujar. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. And he falls behind now 2 and 0. Oh. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base up hit. Next for the Yankees. And he right just field. blasts this thing down Aaron. the left field line. I thought God. it might have been foul, but it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good-looking swing. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. One for one after a single this first time up. to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Now batting, left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. So coming to the plate, Giancarlo Stanton, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Sale sets. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and one. Couldn't lay off the pitch inside. It's 0 and 1. Two out here and a runner at second. Aye. Now an off speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Hey, with first base open, pitcher's definitely going to nibble and try and see if the hitter expands the zone. The 0 2. Whoa. Tried to throw the fastball by him, but it's high. Oh, no, 1 and 2. Right Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. The set and the oh, 1 2. He started this guy backwards. A couple of off speed pitches early, followed by back to back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Here's the 2 and 2. 
And he missed with this one up around the noggin. Now it's full. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to work the count back to 3-2. And, and he's seen a lot of pitches, too. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he rolls over this one foul. We'll do it once more. Three and two. And another foul ball. Now a hard liner, but this will be a foul ball. Man, he wants that swing back. He'll be thinking about that all night. He crushed that ball. He just needs to stay back a little longer. He set the 3-2. And now this will be the 10th pitch of the at-bat. And he struck him out. A 10-pitch battle, but he finally wears him down as the inning is over. One left for the Yankees. They're down one nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Stepping up now, Rafael Devers comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Rafael Yep. Here's the first pitch to him. Aye. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Heading out towards shallow right. Judges under it, makes the play one away. Now batting, the center fielder, Kevin Pillar. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. First pitch coming, here it is. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. High in the air out towards shallow right. Judge will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. The batter, the catcher, Christian Vasquez. So bases are empty here with two gone. And from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. First offering on its way. Ball, oh, that's out. One run, four hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. A one and one count now to Vasquez. One and one. That's Two ball balls and a strike. Two and two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gardner is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they're on top one to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gary Leading Sanchez for the Yankees. set to lead us off in the home the half of the fourth inning. Gary Sanchez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Outside, 3-0 now. Great A-B up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Three and one. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Going back is the right fielder. Boom goes the dynamite. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. Home run number nine on the year. And the Yankees have drawn even now at one apiece. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-0. A swing and a ground ball to third. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. At the plate, Torres. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Down the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. One run, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Working for the punch out and the offering. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. No one out with a runner at second. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Well, I think this is the kind of approach they need against such a prolific starter. You can't count on putting up a lot of runs, so getting him out of the game has to be the priority. Working at bats, full counts, running up the pitch count is a great way of doing that. The next 3-2. Popped up. Devers is there. One down. Now batting second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. A base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. The pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. One ball, no strikes to count. The 
one and zero delivery. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. One out and a runner on second base. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. He's set. Here's the three and two on the ground to the right side. And that is into right field, a base hit. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the baseball the season. First base. Bottom line is this guy has bat to ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Into the box, Luke Voigt, as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0-1. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. Fouled off. Another 0-2 coming. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there. The straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat. And what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Here's Brett Gardner now. He'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One and 0. Oh, here it is. Hit back up the middle. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's now a two to one ball game. The batter, the designated hitter. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Here's Miguel Andujar now. In the dirt here. No movement on base. It's ball one. The 1 0. Two balls, no play. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Three oh, and oh now. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. And that misses for ball four. What's the saying? 
Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, no right the first thing you should do is stop down. digging. Well, the guy that bumped obviously hasn't heard that one. God. So the bases are loaded here, two men gone, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted down the line and left. But this will land untouched. Comes set. The 0-1. Nope, at the ball. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. It's ball two. And he fouls this one off. Here's the two and two. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. Coming to the plate now, Michael Chavis. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Michael Chavis. First delivery to him on the way. The wind up and the 0 1. And he lays off for ball one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. One one home takes a pass and misses that strike two. What is it? I know it's cliche and it's tired at times but a well located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the Not win bad. if this keeps Don't up hurt, as we take a look at the league yeah. leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he's part of a flat-footed tie for the AL lead. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Mitch Moreland. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. Now here's the pitch. Oh. And that misses ball one. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Fifth inning, two to one our score. And that one's a called strike, back even at one. Now the one and one pitch. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. On to first and half to roll in now two away. So this has now been another fine outing game. for him this afternoon as we check out the league leaders in ERA. And as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department. 
So the lineup flips over and digging in Jose Peraza a hit in two tries for him so far. First offering on its way. Off the plate ball one. A ball and a strike now. The 1-1. One, one. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. Our score remains 2-1. to one. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. Go for, for two for him to this point. The left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. No Ball pitch. one. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Now the pitch. Two balls, one strike. Whoa, that's down. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Pilar is in retreat as he pulls it in for the first out. Now batting, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And the next to bat, the Dominican born catcher, Gary Sanchez. That last at bat when he went deep. That wasn't that bad of a pitch. It was a changeup away off the plate that he went out and got. That tells me that this guy's got some pretty good plate coverage on that ball that's outside. Bases are empty, one man out. Behind 0-2 now. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Hey, that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. The one-two. Two two now. One out, nobody on. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four strikeouts the in the first two games, Number so 29. this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. Stepping in now, Gio Urshela. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly it's been a treat to watch sale gets the sign one one pitch on its way
Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Lays off two and two now. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Martinez has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They lead it two to one. At the plate, Alex Verdugo. It was a two bagger for him in his last at bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to safety. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Gardner. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first the bat, out of the inning. The left fielder, J.D. Martinez. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now there's a changeup to start him out, but it drops low and away for ball one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Yeah. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. 3-2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more now walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Sanders. Pitchers work Hold around up. them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two-strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this will get foul for strike two. One and two to the Boston shortstop. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. Torres at the bag. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters due up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Yankees two and the Red Sox one. Your Keith Henry enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 37. Hembry. Digging in now for the Yankees. He Torres. The Yankees. He got under one and popped out That's his last stop. time up. Yeah, I don't Wayburn. mind him trying to drive the ball in the no air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. No balls and a strike to count. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Two and one.
hit hard on the ground to second. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. The batter, the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Into the box now, DJ LeMayhew. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. He's set and the pitch. Nope. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. And he misses again, two and oh. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. Two balls, one strike. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Now the 2 1 pitch. Line to the right side. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now batter, first baseman, Luke. Standing in now, Luke Voigt. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. No hits to this point. The 0 1 lays off the slider and it's 1 and 1. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. That's he's fallen good. behind now, three and one. Brett Gardner is on deck. The three one. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. The 3-2 pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. But this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. The Yanks leave one as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Rafael Devers the next to bat. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. First offering on its way. Nope. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Heading after it is Judge, but he won't get to it. And this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he'll get in at second base as the time the runs aboard with a leadoff double. Kevin. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. 
And that will bring an end to the appearance by Jay Happ. So as he departs, he can't lose this ball game, but he is responsible for the runner at second, meaning it'd be a no Ladies decision if that run North comes across to score. Chad now Green comes on now, and he'll take over with number nobody out in inning number seven. Chad Green. In now, Kevin Pillar, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hey. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Popped up. Voigt has room in foul territory. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting. The catcher. Christian Vasquez. At the plate, Christian Vasquez, one for two on his line so far in the game. First pitch of the at bat. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. one's in the dirt fouled away Swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say now about bad. that pitch that hasn't but been said a million good. times already. Michael. That's just a real tough Maybe. pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. At the plate now, Michael Chavis. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. At the letters, but called high, it's a ball. Now a line drive. Caught down there at third. Unlucky that time. And that ball will end the inning. Correct. of the inning now so back to the top of the off. Yankee Four order Yankees. digging in Miguel Andujar the designated hitter Miguel Andujar the pitch this is line to left and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon with that the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning and he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Now batter. Hey, guys, I like the, the execution field. by the batter there. Aaron. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. Yeah. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. At the plate, Aaron Judge. 
As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. There's one that misses high. It's one and one. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Here's the 2 1 home. Down to 3 1. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Now in the box, Giancarlo Stanton. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. First delivery to him on the way. A ball of no strikes. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. The 1-0. Giancarlo swings, and this ball is hit well into left field. Boom goes the dynamite. A three-run home run for Giancarlo Stanton. Number 13 for him on the year, and it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff, don't give him anything he can extend his arms on. You do, and he's going to make you pay for it, just like he did. Darwin's in Hernandez please. comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number, number seven. Three. Darwin's in Hernandez. Now batting, catcher, Gary. So now to the plate, Ted Gary Ted. Sanchez. As he'll take a look at his strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Here's the pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. How this is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point. But that's what they've done to this guy so far. Into the box, Gio Urshela. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. One and no pitch on the way. Aye. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Three runs already home here. Aye. 
Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he'll pull into second with one away. Well, he was definitely struggling coming now into this it. one, but I think Good we can call. say that cold Lager. streak is officially over. Go That's his red. second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Stepping in now, Torres. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And he misses with it one and one. Hard hit ball to second. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. The batter, the second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. Ready once again, DJ LeMahieu trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss oh, out in down. front of a changeup. Men on third with two down. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. Well, this team, they're swinging at everything, but that pitch was just a little too far out of the strike zone. Now a foul tip that's held onto at the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. This is on the ground over to first. Moreland's there. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. Another look at the big blow for the Bombers. A three-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's 5-1 Yanks. Zach Britton please. has been summoned from the now bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 53, Zach Britton. Mitch Moreland will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. First pitch of the at bat. Counts one and oh. This one's down the middle, a ball and a strike. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Nope, that's inside. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order's coming up right behind him. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. 
Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has no looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort be. turned in by the starter. Okay. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. To the plate now, Jose Peraza, yeah. as he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. I got a ball, one strike. 5 1 our score as we play the eighth. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Sent out to straightaway center field. Gardner is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. The right fielder, number 99, Alec Verdugo. So striding in, Alex Verdugo. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Here's the first pitch to him. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Two out, nobody on. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And it's fouled away. Try again, one, two. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They're down five to one. Ladies Matt Barnes is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom now half of the, the eighth. Number 32, Matt Barnes. So striding forward now, Luke Voigt. No hits for the him yet in the game, man. despite his team's Luke. offensive onslaught. Boy. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball that now. Here comes the 1 0. The count is 2 and 1. Count now at two and two. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's now, on base to kick off the home eighth. Red. That was a great battle right Gunther. there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. 
Stepping up to the plate, Brett Gardner. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a curveball in for a strike. Nobody out, runner on first. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. That fastball straightens him up a bit. One and two now. Fouled off. The one two. And he fouls this one off. Interesting pitch selection right there in off the plate. Not too many pitchers in the game want to go in there and risk hitting the guy and letting him get on first base free of charge. Down the third baseline. Now another one two. Neither guy giving in here and they'll do it again. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. The next one-two pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is Pilar. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Home run number nine on the year as it's now a six-run ball game. Now that the designated hitter, Miguel. And that'll bring up Miguel and Duhar. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Here's Bogarts, the young shortstop. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now batting, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. Digging in to try it again, Aaron Judge. From the stretch. Hey. Here's the 0 1. Oh. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1 and 1. Fastball well outside. Still only one out in the inning. And a curveball drops in on 2-1, two, 2-2 two and two now. Ooh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys. Curveball right down the middle of the plate. And for him to take that pitch looking, he had to be sitting on something else. But he should have pulled the trigger. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3-2. and two. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. The 3-2 pitch. Lifted in the air out to right. 
Verdugo is there. Two down. Up next for the Yankees, the left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Digging in and looking for more, Giancarlo Stanton. He had that big three-run homer in his last appearance. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Ball one to start the at bat. The one and zero delivery. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit. But unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. And this is pulled hard but foul. Hope they brought their gloves for that one out there. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly and the inning is over. Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. Last chance now coming up for the Red Sox. It's the Yankees seven and the Red Sox one. Striding in to start the ninth J.D. Martinez and they'll the need him to get something going JD here. Martinez. First delivery to him on the way. Jay Happ would be in line for the victory should the score hold. That misses oh wide. God. One ball and one strike. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Three and one to Martinez. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The batter, number two, shortstop, Xander Boga. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a soft liner. Throw on to first, and now the Red Sox are down to their final out. Now batting, the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Red Sox down to their final out now, and that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. First offering on its way. Oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hey. A ball and a strike. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heated. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Two two pitches found away. 
Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Last strike now for the Red Sox. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. So the home crowd will have a pleasant drive home afterwards as their guys have taken the first two of this three-game series. A win tomorrow, and they can break out the brooms. 7-1 to one the final today. So the Bronx Bombers took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Jay Happ earns win number seven on the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.